This is the solution to <clears throat> written homework 8. Written homework 8 is just like written homework 7, except uh, instead of giving you definite uh, numbers for A, B, and C, <clears throat> uh, the numbers that you were given uh, are just const are just letters A, B, and C. <clears throat> so again, because A, B, and C are positive, the same uh, consideration can be made. Consider that m of t can be written as a multiplied by t to b divided by e to ct. So initially, t to b will grow faster than the exponential, which means that this function will initially increase. Uh, however, the exponential eventually will grow faster than t to b. So the function is expected to look like this. with a stationary point somewhere here. <clears throat> OK, so let's see if that expectation pans out. <clears throat> so to make a slope chart, the first step is to consider the natural domain. It is positive t's. The second step, we need to find the critical numbers. So we'll find the derivative. So the derivative will be a multiplied by the derivative of t to b e to negative ct plus t to b derivative <coughs> e to negative ct for the product rule. <coughs> so then this will be a and then b t to b minus 1 e to negative ct plus t to b e to negative ct multiplied by negative c for the chain rule. So now we can factor uh, out the common factors. So there's powers of t. Here's t to b minus 1, and here's t to b. You, when you're factoring out common powers of t, you always factor out the smaller one. So b minus 1 is smaller than b, so we'll factor it out. So this will be a t to b minus 1. And then e to negative ct is also common. So e to negative ct. So when you factor this factor out and that factor out, b is all that remains for the first term. And then plus. <coughs> So we factored out uh, b minus 1 of these. So there's just one left. So that'll be t. That's factored out. And then negative c. So then simplifying a little bit, a t to b minus 1, e to negative c t, and then b minus CT. So now we need to check, was there a change in the domain?
Well, the exponential has no problems. This is a polynomial. It has no problems. And this term, this factor, t to b minus 1, will have no problems because the natural domain is positive numbers. So there's no change. Now, uh, not step three yet. Now we're looking for the stationary points. That is to say, where the derivative is zero. Well, a is positive, so it's never zero t is positive, so this is never 0. The exponential is never 0. And the only time this is ever 0 <coughs> is when ct is equal to b, so that t is b over c. So that's what that position is, b over c. <coughs> so now we can make the chart. C. So we can do half b over c will be between 0 and b over c. And we can do twice b over c will be to the right. <clears throat> so if we plug that in <clears throat> to here, this is positive, this factor is positive, this factor is positive, so positive, positive. And then if we plug in half b over c, this will be b minus half b. So this would be 1 half b, so it would be positive, because b is a positive constant. And if we plug in twice b over c, then positive factor, positive factor, and this uh, factor, if we plug in twice b over c, that would be b minus 2b. So b minus 2b is negative b, which is negative. So then the overall sign in this region is positive, so, it ha so that's positive slope. The overall sign in this region is negative, so that's negative slope. And so again, the expectation bears out. So we can make our conclusion. The conclusion is the maximum occurs at t is b over c with value, value, wow, whatever we get when we plug that in. <clears throat> so m of b over c is a multiplied by b over c to b exponential of negative c times b over c. And the only simplification I can see is that's all the same, but then these c's can cancel. And that's the answer to the exercise.